All right. Hedra should be coming. He normally take, washes everything up after Mass. You're supposed to wash these up after Mass now, with the thing. Yeah. yeah. So. The new rules. Vatican three rules. Well, now, we all set on it. Yes. Bless us. <coughs> Alive. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. I want to welcome you all to our Mass. If you're looking on TVs in your hospital room, or you're watching online, we ask God's blessing on you today, and your families also. And we begin our Mass by reminding ourselves that God is the source of all blessings. We thank God for the blessings we receive. We acknowledge sometimes our failures, and we ask God's forgiveness and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Almighty God now have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our needs may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah the Tishbite from Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord the God of Israel lives, whom I serve. During these years there shall be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Leave here and go east and hide in the, the Wadi Cherit, east of the Jordan. You shall drink of the stream and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as, as the Lord had commanded. He went and remained by the Wadi Cherit, east of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, our help is in the Lord. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes towards the mountain. Whence shall come my help? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he suffer your foot to slip. May, may he not suffer your foot to slip. May he slumber not who guides you. Indeed, he neither sleeps nor slumbers, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our, Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. earth. The Lord will guard you from evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. After he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, How blessed, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. <clears throat> Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At first glance, it doesn't seem like Jesus could be talking about Elijah I mean, in today's gospel. There's nothing meek and merciful or peacemaking in telling the king there's going to be a drought in his land and then that he, Elijah, is going to command all the rains. After pronouncing the drought, Elijah disappears, hiding out on the far side of the Jordan River. That is farm territory. Israel's psalmist both focus on God's provision for people like Elijah and others who remain faithful. What about the poor and the powerless who live under King Ahab's control? Is, going, is God going to be their guardian also in the midst of the drought? That question continues to haunt the people of Israel even to the time of Jesus. This is part of why Jesus' message about blessing perhaps is so powerful. He's saying that those who remain faithful to God will be blessed, but the process is not going to be easy. Elijah was persecuted besides having a clear prophetic mandate from God. In the same way, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, those who speak up against power, will also be persecuted. The road of faithfulness is not an easy road. Um, God can and will challenge us to speak up against tyrants, against those in power who are not following the ways of God. God will also make sure that we are ultimately comforted, satisfied and rewarded. We can't assume it will happen on our time, perhaps our, our terms. I think the basic core of the line in the Gospel reading is we have to at all times we try to be blessed and try to be people of hope. Try to bring the peace of God to those around us um, in our own situations, um, in our communities, and wherever people need peace today, we can be agents and instruments of that peace. We pray that God will strengthen us with the gift of his spirit and most of all, the gift of his body as we continue with our Mass. Father, the Son. And of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you now. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Gracious God, who rights all wrongs and delivers us from evil, we come before you in prayer today. <clears throat> our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the church universal that it would listen to the prophets in its midst and proclaim your word we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for those in authority that they would listen to those in their care and make right decisions we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for those prophets in our world whose warnings are frequently thwarted that they may be vindicated and their message followed we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for those who desperately need to see justice in their lives especially those who feel oppressed that policies and legislation may seek to right the wrongs we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for those in our community whose voices need to be heard that God may give us a listening ear to hear and understand their pain we pray to the Lord Lord Amen. hear our prayer for our country in this time of great peril and tension that we may listen to the mutual grievances we feel towards each other and work together to build a more hospitable, harmonious, and caring society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially those who have died here in our hospital or from this coronavirus, that God may give them rest and peace that God may heal and comfort their families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask our Blessed Mother to pray for us as we say, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace. The, the Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed are thou among women. women. Blessed, blessed is the fruit, fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Trusting in your almighty grace, we dedicate these prayers to your care, confident in your righteousness and truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was homeless, you opened your door. When I was naked, you gave me your coat. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do, to the least of my people that you do unto me. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. Be kindly on our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity and peace.
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us, heaven on earth of all of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna on high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, holy therefore, therefore this gift, this we pray, pray, by sending down, down your spirit upon, upon them like the dew fall, fall, so that they, they may become for us the body, the body and blood of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered what it meant to his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when and supper was ended, he took the chalice, chalice and once more giving thanks, thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. it. For this, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out, out for, you for you and for many, many for, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Timothy Broglie our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Paul Conroy whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your Son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We remember in all our deceased relatives and friends, those who have died recently, those who have died through the, because of the coronavirus and all those for whom we have been asked to pray. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O oh God, Amen. Almighty Father, in the, the unity of the, of the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit all the glory and, and honor is yours, is yours forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord now be with you all. And with your spirit. So for each other now is sign of Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, Lord, and my soul, my soul shall be healed. Those of you who are watching on, seeing that we cannot have sacramental Holy Communion, I invite you to pause for a few moments and make a spiritual communion to the Lord in the depths of your own hearts.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as is ended now, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, enthroned above, O Maria, Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, triumphal ye cherubim, Sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven on earth resound the hymn. Salve, 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 salve Regina.